uh, Benny in the area for Gary Rich Hollywood Syndicate and uh, Cole Dickin as well as Winterbach Stud and Collins Stud Farm has got it all right and uh, of course that's been ultra consistent and is now a two-time winner as Benny in the area beautifully ridden by Cole whom we'll talk to in a moment excellently trained by Medala as he's affectionately known by his uh, team and uh, Avele is the groom. Avele gets 2,000 rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Avele, well done to you, Boss Mas, Reebok and the entire team. Well done. Congratulations, Avele. Carl Dickin is the pilot and uh, I'm not sure if he's here, but you come in, Gary. And as I've been saying to a couple of the trainers that I've had uh, the chance to chat to today, their horses have really looked well, looked good and, and they've been performing well and uh, well done to you because uh, you've been given some chances by Hollywood Syndicate and horses have come to you and you've done your very best with them and the results are speaking for themselves so you can certainly be proud of yourself. Thanks Warren, um, I really appreciate their support, they've been very good to me, it's helped me a lot. Today's been a frustrating day, I thought I'd have more than one winner, nothing's gone right but at least this one went right. I'm glad, you, I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm glad you mentioned that, not because it's been frustrating, but it's nice for the public to hear because it's, it's such an easy, not, not such an easy job to come to the races, you've got some lovely runners, you're expecting things to go well, and then they don't. You know, and then the public see this and you know, it's, it's not easy and it, it's, it's just one of those things that I think we need to share with the public. Yeah, very, very true. Um, if this didn't win, there was a, there's a big bridge on the way home, we might have gone over there. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I want to just thank... Uh, Anthony and the whole Hollywood Syndicate for the support and to the Hollywood Pets for this um, sponsorship and another big thank you to all my owners that supported me during the season. It was a good season. We'll try and get better next season. Well done Gary. And thanks to the whole stable Tessa and I've had another lady Chantel helping Tessa with the treatment of the horses has really been a good good uh, time. So. And you better wish your wife happy birthday. Oh, that was a Monday, but happy birthday, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Let's get uh, Carl Dickin in. And a uh, very happy birthday to Mrs. Rich, uh, albeit Monday, but uh, the winner came today. Well done, Carl. And uh, you know this horse well. You know Gary Rich well. Uh, you know the way he works. And uh, you, the two of you get on so well. Oh, no, definitely. Uh, I mean, as I say it's about time I won on him. I mean, the amount of places I've ridden on him, he had to at least give me one winner. Fought on very, very strongly, found other gears up the straight. Uh, he won a very nice race. Well, congratulations, and he's now a two-time winner. I'm sure that uh, you know, there's more to come from him, and, and, and the team will be you know, filled with joy with, with what this horse can offer. Oh, no, definitely. Uh, he's still got a few winners under him, I say. Uh, he's always worked well at home, always fresh. Uh, every morning, he's just... He will bounce around on his back, <laughs> but he's a beautiful horse, definitely a few more winners under him. Big thanks to Mr. Rich, he knows what he's doing. Uh, also to Hollywood uh, Beds, Hornick Form for the sponsor. Good luck. Well done, Cole. All the best to you. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Lovely. Let's get Anthony Delpesh in. And uh, Anthony, yes, he's uh, is a horse, and a lot of the horses that you guys have, uh, that own, that have run today, are always earning and really consistent horses. And, and as a racing manager, that's what you really must want to see is and, and receive is consistency. Yeah, it's been a bit of a frustrating day. A couple of things didn't go right in races, but I'm happy for Gary. He's done really well with this horse, and uh, I thought if he did get to the front and be able to dictate, he'll take a lot of beating, and that's exactly what happened. And yeah, Col really rode a good race, and. Very well done to the Hollywood Syndicate. We didn't do as well as last season, but uh, we still got above 100. We had 117 this season, and a little bit of a disappointing season, obviously, when you're not winning Group 1 races, and that's my target always to achieve is to win Group 1 races, and as a jockey, that you remembered as that, you know what I mean? And winning races is forgotten, and those will go up and be remembered. So i got to work harder next season to try and win some more Group 1 races, but... Well done to the syndicate, they've been very, very helpful this season and we've got such a great team and we'll work hard towards the next season to try to do better. Anthony, don't be too hard on yourself because you've done a fantastic job for the syndicate, you've taken it to levels of uh, the highest order. Well done to you and the team, knowing Hollywood next season, next time will be bigger and better and all the best to you. Yeah, that's a Hollywood uh, motto, get better next time. Lovely Anthony. Thank you. Spot on, yep, bit of a frustrating day you've heard from Gary and Anthony but yeah, that's the, the, the highs and lows of racing and, and you could come here and, and expect to have three, four winners and, and you just uh, go home with none maybe, one if you're lucky. 
and, and as Gary says, you're looking for the bridge on the way home. But nevertheless, they've won here with Benny in the area. There's one more still to come from Hollywood Betts Gravel.